A set of bills working their way through the state legislature could pave the way for more needle exchange programs across the state. Our Phil Buck has been following this story for going on two years now. Phil, what exactly would this legislation do? Well, I mean, first, let's clear up a few myths, right? Because there are a lot of myths associated with needle exchange programs. For instance, the big one is that they promote drug use. Well, actually, there's zero evidence linking these programs with increased drug use. Another myth is that they don't fight the problem of drug addiction, when in fact, people who use syringe exchange programs, they are five times more likely to enter rehab. All right, what about this one? IV drug users, they're not gonna return their dirty needles. Well, according to our state's pilot program being run down in Miami-Dade County, in less than three years, that program has collected more than a quarter million syringes and prevented more than a thousand overdoses. And tell me if you've heard this one, okay? Medical organizations, they're opposed to needle exchange programs. Well, that one is flat out not true. The American Medical Association, the Red Cross, the National Academy of Sciences, the National Institute of Drug Abuse, the World Health Organization, all of this is just a handful. They all endorse the effectiveness of needle exchange programs. And I want you to hear this because, you know, a lot of us don't come in contact with IV drug users in our everyday lives. But here's what one addict told me when I started looking into this issue back in 2017. Is it easier for you to get heroin than it is for it, you Absolutely, it? it is easier for me to get heroin than clean syringe. If I want a syringe, I can't go to a store and buy one. I have to go look in the gutter around Walmart sometimes or Publix, or if I'm lucky enough, somebody else on the street will have one that they'll sell me, which I still don't know if it's clean or not. And you know, Katie, I mean, that really drives it home. Addicts, they're gonna use mm -hmm. regardless, okay? Programs like these, they not only help stop the spread of infectious diseases like HIV and hepatitis C, but they also mean that the people who are enrolled in these programs, they have more access to treatment, which can eventually help them stop using drugs. So why can't more of these facilities operate in the state? We're right now, distributing needles without a prescription can violate Florida's what's the, the drug paraphernalia possession law. These bills would now allow local governments to set up these needle exchange programs as a public health service. The, that would not fall under the law. So it's passed the House at this point. What, what's next for this? Actually, there are two different versions. One has passed in the House, one has passed in the Senate. There are a couple small differences in the language between the two. Lawmakers are gonna have to iron out those details before they sell in one final version to the governor to get his signature. And you'll keep us posted on that. Of course. Thanks, Phil.